Hello, Rimantas Petrauskas here. And today's question is, local trade copper doesn't seem to be copying the trades to my subscribers and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. What should I do? Now, that's a really good question. Okay, so there are hundreds of answers for this one, but I thought it would be great to give you most of the common reasons why people get stuck. Before we continue, let me remind you that in all cases that uh, you experience problems with any app on the MT MT4 platform, not just my trade copper, you can always check the experts tab at the bottom of the platform. There you can find error and warning messages that may help you solve the problem quickly by yourself. Uh, for example, there are countless cases where people complain about trade copper not working just to find out later that they do not have enough money on, or no money at all in their client account. The client TA gave this message in the experts tab, but no one bothered to look there. So first, uh, let me remind you that LTC copper trades only between MetaTrader accounts that are running on the same computer. If you have read the LTC description close enough, you should know that you need to have master and slave accounts on the same VPS or, or same computer in order to copy trades between them. If you, send, if you want to send trades to your subscribers who are running M24 platforms on their own computers, then you need remote trade copper. This is an all-in-one solution for signal providers. With local trade copper, you can only copy trades locally, which means on the same computer or VPS. This is why it is called local trade copper. Now, next thing that people get stuck with is that there are many brokers that use currency suffix. Some do not use them at all, some use one suffix and others just have multiple groups of currency pairs with different suffixes and it seems that even some brokers do not even know how are they different. So you might have, for example, three different euro, euro dollar instruments with different suffixes. I did my best to, uh, to make the LTC detect a suffix and use it when copying trades but in some cases, it will just fail to do this and reject the copy trades. However, LTC will still show you that it is working properly and you will see server read counter increasing. But when a new trade comes in, the copper might fail to copy the trade because of the wrong suffix being used. So in this case, it is necessary to help the LTC with the settings and set the correct suffix by yourself. You will find these options in the client TA inputs window, usually at the bottom. Here are those two settings that control whether the client TA should use currency name suffix or not and what it should be exactly. And here are the settings to control suffix name on the server EA. If they are not detected correctly, then the server EA will fail to send the trade properly and the client TA may not recognize it. In other words, server EA should remove the currency name suffix before sending the, the trade to the client EA. After uh, another common mistake that people make is when they try to copy the LTC files to another MetaTrader platform, they forget the DLL library file. This file is located in the MQL4 libraries folder and is automatically installed when using the auto installer provided in the LTC package. So always make sure you are using the auto installer to install LTC or if you don't then uh, at least copy all the files correctly. Of course LTC will always let you know that it's missing a DLE library file and that message can be found in the express tab. Right. There are cases when people set the client TA to ignore and not copy certain types of trades using one or several trade filters. Later they for, forgot about them and, uh, and just wonder why they cannot copy new trades. So always be sure to check uh, your LTC EA settings and make sure you do not have any filters enabled that will ignore the trades for you. So please like and share if this video was helpful to you and tell me what you think in the comments below. 
If you have any more questions, please visit m24.copper.com or contact my support team.